okay, sorry. I thought it was ready, but I wasn't. Um, in this video, we're going to do eliminating the parameter. So the first one, we graph these. Um, on this one, what we want to do is change this from parametric form back to rectangular form. So instead of having a variable of time, we just want x and y. And if you remember from the last video, by doing the parametric, we have speed, we have direction, we have starting, we have ending. Okay, and we're going to change these by, when it says eliminate the parameter, it means change to rectangular. Okay, which is just going to give us shape. Sorry, that got a little small. So eliminate the parameter, change it to rectangular, which this is going to give us our shape. So if we wanted to, we could go ahead and graph this either by hand or with our calculator to kind of see what it's going to look like. Um, so that's the square root of t. So I'm still in parametric and uh, t minus 1. Okay, so if you notice we graph that and it's going to give us our shape. Again, I don't know if you noticed but the speed it graphs, if you do a lot of these, you'll start seeing the different speeds. So that's what it looks like on a graph. What we want to do is we actually want to get this into a common equation, an equation we're familiar with, so that we can look at it and see the shape. Um, this actually had some limitations on it because my window was 0 to uh, 2 pi from the last one. So um, let's say it's... Yeah, anyway, I'd have to play around with that. I haven't. Anyway, sorry. Lots of things. Okay, so we're going to change this to something we're familiar with. And what, how we do this is we're actually going to solve for t and then substitute that into a different, into the other equation. So looking at this, I'm going to say, okay, if I add 1, y plus 1 equals t. And then I could take what t equals and substitute in here. So x equals the square root of y plus 1. That technically would be our uh, parametric form. That's our standard x, y graph. Okay. Um, what if I had solved for x equals t squared? So instead of solving the way I did, I could have said, OK, if I square both sides, x squared equals t. And then if I substitute this in, y equals x squared minus 1. Okay, and from the little piece of the graph we saw, again, my graph isn't set up right because I don't have my um, domain restrictions or my, um, my uh, given um, range. But if you notice, it started down here at negative 1. This is our graph. Okay, these both produce the same graph. We're just a little bit more familiar with this one. So again, to change it to parametric, we're going to get rid of, we're going to solve for our common variable and then use substitution. Just kind of like what we do with systems of equations. Okay, um, let's look at a different one. Let's look at, okay, we're going to skip B for a second and let's go down to E that I am just going to write. So we're going to have y equals t squared and x equals t minus 1. Okay, so if I add 1, I get x plus 1 equals t. I could take that, substitute it in. y equals x plus 1 squared. So we'd expect this parametric equation to have a parabolic shape, a parabola type shape. Okay, so we actually really like to go take our parametric and put them into rectangular because if I know the rectangular form, I have an idea of what it should be looking like in its parametric form. Okay, so that would be my answer. Um, let's do another one. Okay, this one looks tricky, but it's not. So we want to um, eliminate the parameter. We want to eliminate t. So um, just kind of 
be aware we don't always have to solve for t's. Sometimes we can go straight to substitution. Because if you notice, x equals e plus t. And here we have e plus t. So I could just jump straight to y equals 2x minus 1 and be done. There's my um, parametric, or sorry, there's my rectangular form. Um, I would expect these two graphed to be a line, the line 2x minus 1. Well, let's say I didn't notice that and I solved. So I have x equals e to the t. We know to get rid of the exponent e or to get t out of that exponential position, we take the ln. So ln of x equals t. Then if we substitute that in, that would be y equals 2 e to the ln of x minus 1. Well, we know e and ln cancel, leaving us with y equals 2x minus 1. So you can actually solve for your variable and get the exact same answer. But be aware, sometimes it's actually already set up for you for an easy substitution. Okay. Um, I also want to look at this one. So these are the exact instructions from your assignment today. So sketch the curve represented by the parametric equation. Indicate the orientation of the curve, so how it starts, how it ends, the direction. Use a graphing utility to confirm your result. Eliminate the parameter and write your corresponding rectangular equation whose graph represents the curve. So again, the rectangular just shows the shape. Parametric shows shape, starting, ending, speed, all that. Okay, And then it's going to ask you to adjust the domain of the resulting rectangular equation if necessary. Okay, That just means that if you have um, division by zero, you need to probably restrict your domain so you don't have that. Okay, so. I think there's only one of them that really has that on your assignment, so just be aware that if you have a variable in the denominator or a square root of a variable, you might have to do some um, domain adjusting. Okay, so um, I want to look at 23 when we have cosines and sines. Those ones are a little tricky. So, and they're a little different than what you might think. So if we have this, a trig function, okay, we are going to focus on sine squared, oops, plus cosine squared theta equals one. We're gonna use this quite a bit when we change a, sin, a trig function into a rectangular. We're also gonna look at secant squared theta minus, sorry that's a minus, tangent squared theta equals 1. So those are our, some of our trig identities. Okay, so what I want to do is I want to change this to um, a rectangular equation. Um, so what we're going to do first is get our cosine and sine by themselves. So x equals 2 cosine theta. I'm going to divide by 2. So x divided by 2 equals cosine theta. Same thing with that one. I'm going to get y divided by 3 equals sine theta. So I just divided by the 3. Okay. So this is where it's a little different. I'm actually going to square both sides. So now I have cosine squared theta equals x over 2 squared or you could say x squared over 4 and then I'd have sine squared theta equals y over 3 squared or y squared over 4. So now that I know what cosine and sine are I could plug them into this trig identity so I'd have y squared over 4 plus x squared that's a 9. Sorry, that's a 3. That's a 9. So y squared over 9 plus x squared over 4 equals 1. And this should look familiar. What shape is this? This is an ellipse. So we start our centers at 0, 0. In our y direction, we'd go 1, 2, 3. 1, 2, 3. And our x would go 1, 2, 1, 2. And we'd have this ellipse. Okay. So that would be its form in rectangular. Okay, if we want to, we could go ahead and graph this. 
So 2 cosine x, or t, sorry, 3 sine t, And there it is, there's our ellipse. So we knew what shape it would be before we put it in our graphing calculator. Again, you notice the speed of it. We also saw the direction. Okay, let me graph that one more time. So we saw its direction. So it started right here, so that's our starting point, and it traveled around. So we would need to make sure we included that in this ending point as well. We need to include the direction of our graph. Okay, so. Um, this is kind of a big deal. If you have a trigonometric form, you're going to use sine squared theta plus cosine squared theta equals 1. Square both sides and solve it. Um, I'm not 100% sure you have one in your assignment today, but know how to do it if it's a trigonometric function. If it has sine and cosine, you're using these. Okay, hopefully this is good for you guys. Hopefully everything turns out well. I don't know why I keep saying hopefully. You guys are awesome. Good work. Um, this is our last week of instruction. And yeah, have a great day. Bye.